Hi, welcome to this episode of the Spartec SD1 rudder build. In this video, I am going to be cleaning up the ribs after the two stringer sections have been bonded into position, uh, preparing and bonding in the doublers for the ribs. I'm going to be putting the taper on the spar stringers and I'm going to talk about a couple of modifications that I'm planning to do. These are not approved by Spartec but are, to my mind, requirements uh, for the build. So, let's crack on and watch the video. All the bits are bonded and uh, just need to do a little bit of uh, edge sanding. Not an awful lot, because it's, uh, it's worked out pretty much perfectly in most places. So, uh, just line things up with the edge of my sort of sanding system here and I can just run this along it makes sure the edges are straight it's the system I've used for model aircraft in the past just get rid of that so you can sort of see from uh, from there it's, uh, where that little joint is it's just a very slight difference all the all filled all good so I'll just uh, run the block over just the back edge here just to make sure that there's no, uh, no resin or anything there that's one down So I've just uh, sent through, you'll see I'm going to be sending into this block, it's just because the wood protruded past the plywood there. Okay, so disclaimer time. This is not an instructional video. I am building this aircraft for my own purposes and I'm only putting myself at risk. Therefore, any deviations from the instructions or plans is purely on me. Please do not follow what I'm doing as being the way to build your own aircraft. Follow the instructions and if you deviate, you do so at your own risk. Thank you. Carry on watching the video from now. So here I am, I'm just cutting the ends of the stringers at the angles required for the ribs to fit on properly. Uh, just the excess which I had hanging out the ends. And now just planing and sanding to get the five degree angle required as shown on the plans for the skins to bond because this spar isn't at 90 degrees to the skin. Of course you have to repeat it on the other side. Right, so. Let's put a five degree chamfer on that each side. Slight mod number one. And I'll show you why. Uh, on the, uh, on the, the, this uh, hinge stroke bell crank, there's a brass bush. And that brass bush will not fit through that gap uh, without cracking the plywood. So. Uh, I just cut away a little bit out of the centre section to let the bush through. So I can tell I've got that really small because all the lines are parallel. That's good. So that, that should, in theory, match the angles on that bit. Yeah, that's good. Now these back faces get uh, get sanded to uh, approximately 45 degrees or so. so. Now I'm just going to use coarse sandpaper for this 60 grit. And again I'm going to look to make sure the lines of the laminations are parallel. This is not a critical angle. Right, so <coughs> I've mixed up the resin all sorted out uh, there, just plain resin at the moment. I'll be putting some bulking agent in. Um, another little deviation I'm doing from the plans is uh, the top here, 
this top rib will sit in at, a, at an angle. Uh, need to have the top of this chamfered slightly for it. Uh, but uh, there's nothing really going to be supporting this little edge here. The, the, the joint will literally be 8mm, sorry, 0.8mm against 0.8mm. So what I've decided to do, and please comment if you think I'm wrong, is I'm just going to put in a small section of, uh, of the, of the uh, square in and send that so it matches the angle so it's a good support and that include, increases the glue area and just makes that little bit uh, a better joint. Uh, I, I don't think it's going to add much weight. Uh, yeah, a third of a gram, call it 0.4 of a gram with the glue probably uh, onto there and then I'm going to send some of it away anyway. But I think that will make that top just a little bit stronger where that top rib goes on. Gives it a bond better than just effectively a very, very thin edge and a couple of uh, five millimeter square areas. So <clears throat> that's my, my first little task here. So I'm just going to do that. So, as I said, this is just a sort of deviation uh, from the plans. I'm just going to put some resin on, on the areas to start off with, then I'll mix the, uh, the resin up with the bulking agent, and then we'll actually put them together. So, I'm just wetting it out at the minute. Side there, make sure that it's wetted all over. And so, the reason for wetting out with pure resin is it soaks into the surface of the wood and makes sure that you've got a good bond going to happen uh, when you actually join the two pieces together. You should never just hope that you're going to make it uh, join, it does dry out a bit, so to speak, as you put it on. Bulking agent. So we it out the surface, and now I'm going to add some bulking agent to this with just a, a uh, smidge. Start off with. I just want it to be slightly less running paste. And just a little bit more than that. Still a bit too runny. Uh, slightly thickened paste. So the, the reason for applying this is uh, it takes up any small gaps or you know imperfections in the surface and helps to fill it, rather than using just pure resin, which would be brittle but it actually acts as part of the structure within the, the, the glue joint itself. Nice even coat using a brush. Now I'm using uh, gripper pins, which are a bit like uh, Clecos, uh, sheet metal fasteners, temporary ones, just help to screw things, keep everything aligned before I put the weight on, because otherwise it might just slip. Again, get rid of that excess weight. Now that can sit there. Put the scrap piece 
underneath there. Scrap pieces stop it from oh, bowing. Well, it's a great big block on the top. Take out the uh, gripper pins. Total build time 4.1 hours. Each session is taking about an hour or so is what I'm going to play with but just because I've got a lot of things around to do uh, I'm only working on the rudder kit I'm sure once I get you know, got everything else I could do a longer sessions uh, but all the bits have, uh, have now been bonded uh, the workshop temperature is nice at 21.7 and 42 uh, percent being controlled at that with my dehumidifier so the next sort of stages I'm going to go through is I'm going to uh, get the uh, metalwork here, this bit of metalwork, I'm going to uh, clean that and uh, prime it, I've already masked it, uh, and the bit for the hinge there, uh, that, that'll I will, uh, I will prime that up. Uh, I'll mark up the plywood skins for the varnish. Uh, so, so we've got this, got this varnish uh, which they supply. It's quite runny and uh, we'll progress from there. So I'll just uh, stop it there. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up. You can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos. Any comments would be appreciated and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Remember, go fly and feel the sky.